Welcome guys, Horcrux here. We are doing a 2023 PvP tier list for the Elder Scrolls Online for the Scribes of Fate DLC. So without further ado, without wasting any time, let's hop into it, shall we? All right, we're doing it live. So if you guys agree with me, um, good. If you don't, then you can leave. So let's figure out what we're gonna be doing first. Uh, let's, what class are we gonna pick? So we're gonna pick the Mag Warden, guys. So the Mag Warden, I don't think there's been really any sets that have added or taken away from the warden um last patch i think i would give it a, a a or like a like a meta tier um but I, I feel like this patch um it's still really really strong because mars you know the changes to mars bomb there's been there hasn't really been any sets to kind of coincide with it um i know you can run like way of fire but like like a bunch of proc sets with it and it, it does okay yeah absolutely shreds in battlegrounds though um it really does shred so wardens most of this will be from like a 1vx small group perspective not like a zergling perspective or necessarily battlegrounds i think uh warden by itself in open world is probably like a b plus tier um but taking into account that it absolutely shreds and battlegrounds i'm probably gonna put uh, the mag warden in an a tier i think a tier is uh, pretty fair for that so that kind of leaves me with the uh, the stamden uh, i'm not gonna lie to you guys i i don't even know what this class does besides duels i i don't think it really does anything uh, I think the, the Magden does everything that the Stamden does, but just better. So I'm probably going to put the Stamden in like a C plus tier. I I I don't know, guys. I'm going to put it in C tier. Stamden C tier. I, I've not went up against a good Stamden. All the Wardens I see are Mag Wardens. Probably 85% Magic Wardens. Magic and Necromancer. I think this is unanimous. If you do not agree with my placement of the Magic and Necromancer, feel free to leave. They changed the Avid Boneyard. It doesn't do anything anymore. You can't burst people with it. They changed the Harmony trait. You can't burst people with it. You can't do anything with it. The class kit sucks when it comes to damage. Nothing is reliable. It doesn't have a real reliable CC. The buffs, quite frankly, just prolong the inevitable. You're just going to die and you're going to die slowly. The only good redeeming thing about this class is Blast Bones because it's funny, but Blast Bones doesn't work half the time. It's wonky. It's too hard to time your burst around it. It gets killed really easy. You kill your own self with Blast Bones because Bla Plague Rake procs on it from like two lie attacks and it blows up and it kills you. You see Plague Infected on your death recap for 5100 and you're solo. So it's like, how did this happen? It's because your own Blast Bones blew up and killed you. So. I'm putting this in trash tier. This is indisputable. I need to make a whole nother tier below trash tier. You are correct. You can't see trash in the uh, the live here, but this is D tier, C tier of the warden. Down here says trash. Absolute trash. All right, it's a dog water tier. All right, so it leads us into the Stam Crow. I have not played Stam Crow this patch. Um, I've heard some people's been able to pull it off. Um, with the changes to the, the two-hander giving you major berserk, it definitely has a little bit more viability. Um, I've yet to be completely clapped by a stamp crow, but I'm sure it's coming. All right. Um, for the, the reasons of the unknown, like I, I know the burst potential of this clash, right? So you can use um, turn evil for like, like an AoE fear CC into your Colossus, into Blast Bones, into Wrecking Blow. I mean, th there is a lot of burst that can come from this, but... I think the class struggles with sustain. So your healing is astronomical. If you do not have your summoner's armors up, your guardian costs like 4,200. Okay, if you're a vampire stage three, which you should be, right? And your resistant flesh costs like, if, unless, unless you're like a Breton or an Imperial, it's gonna cost you like 4,400 to spam it. And it's not even that good of a heal. And the thing about resistant flesh is that when you cast it, yeah, you get the resistances and stuff. But if you cast it again, it overrides those resistances. So you cast it once when you're low, you get a shit ton of resistances, but more than likely you're gonna spam it a second time and then you're at 75% health and you spam it again. Now your resistance is a lot lower because you spammed it a second time. I I think if they made the cost of that ability like 1500 less, it would be good, but I, I'm i wanting to put this in C and B tier. This one's tough for me. I hate, I, cause I, I played for a week trying to make this work. It was tough. 
I, I did it without harmony, you know, during the last patch, it was live, and I just could not get it to work. Uh, I'm gonna put in seeds here. So after we complete this, we're gonna see what Delta says. We're gonna go react to his as well, just so I can have everything in one video, the most clickbait I can possibly get into one single video. I think it's gonna be great content. <laughs> Turn into Asthma Gold. We're just gonna react to people's reactions. Yeah. I hope Delta turns around and reacts to my reaction. That'd be that'd be funny. And we just keep up the chain for content for the next three months until June comes and we get the new class. Anyway, let's pick the Stamplar. I hope this is the Stamplar insignia. All right, so Stamplar, again, I've had a lot of people tell me in chat that this shit can slap. I don't know about Stamplar. Magplar with Acuity can absolutely just, just shit on you. Stamplar, I've not seen a really, really good Stamplar yet. That has just been like, what the fuck? But for the reasons of the unknown, I'm going to put it in B tier. I know I cannot put it with Crow. Like knowing what Crow is, I cannot put any other class other than the Stamdom probably uh, with the Crow. I don't know what the Stamdom does really. Uh, maybe I should move that. No, we're, we're keeping it there. I'm going to put it in B tier for now just because I still think that the meta is to, to be defined for this class. I, I, I don't know what you run on this. Kane ESO is a great sampler. I have a 1vx clip of me crapping on Kane in a 1v4. I can bring that up in a minute. And he was on a sampler. So <laughs> if, he, if he gets 1v4'd, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. <laughs> the healing on it, you know, you, you don't have a lot of group utility. You're pretty much a solo dolo class. Everything you do revolves around you. You know, it's when it comes to like open world stuff, like if you're solo, this is all you like I, compared to the, the, the Magplar, man, I, yeah, I, I think B is very fair. B or C. I mean, it's kind of circle back around for it, but I did, I believe B is a fair assessment. So which leads us into the, the next class is the Magplar. Um, solo again, I, I don't see a lot of Magplars. I know a lot of Magplars just don't die and they do crutch on their acuity proc very much. But for the simple utility that Magplar provides across all aspects of the game, whether it be PvE, PvP, Battlegrounds, Solo, I think Magplar is the most like well-rounded class in the game. I, I think you can run Magplar and do any content and it would be okay. Solo, small group, Zergs, Battlegrounds. So just for its variability, I'm gonna put an A tier. Definitely not meta like it used to be. Definitely not a class that's like, oh my god, man, this 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 thing just shit on me. What what do I do now? You know what I mean? Magplar, Jack of all trades, master of none. That's a really good good statement. Yeah, so um I think we all can agree on A. Um next class, I think is going to be a uh, a no-brainer. Um Let's uh, let's go over the stand blade. Um I don't really see the difference between a mag blade and a stand blade. I think stand blades may be a little harder to play, um, but I mean, I, I, I don't know the difference between a mag and stand blade. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I I, I really don't. Uh, <laughs> um, Night blade in general is just gonna hit you for astronomical amounts of damage and there's nothing you can do about it, especially with the lag in Cyrodiil. You're, you're just gonna eat in caps, you're just gonna eat bows, you're gonna get hit with shit through roll dodge, which you should not be getting be getting hit with. It happens to me constantly. Um, it is definitely a class that just thrives with lag. If there's any latency on your end, you're, you're just gonna get clapped. You're gonna get your booty cheeks just, just handed to you on a silver platter. Uh, I'm gonna put an A tier just because I think compared to Magblade, I, I just think Magblade's just, just crazy, dude. But yeah, uh, uh, to your point, Revenue, it's kind of a hybrid. You don't really know the difference. But um, when it comes to like abilities that I see that kill me, they're mostly mag abilities. So that's why I'm kind of differentiating the uh, the two. So that leads me into mag blade. I I don't think there's there's any rebuttal here that mag blade is not S tier. Um, it hits way too hard. In duels, it shits on everything. The healing is incredible. Yeah, it offers no utility to like anything besides yourself, but it doesn't matter. Like this class completely counters the high health meta because this is the only class that can consistently put out enough burst to one shot people, which is what ESO is all about. It's just one shotting people, right? That's why you have no global cooldowns. That's why it was fun is because you could one shot each other all the time. And if you're not careful, it catch you slipping, you just die. Magblade still does that. Stand blade still, uh, yeah, pretty much does that. Any other class cannot do that. Unless you're a crit acuity DK, which, you know, <laughs> cough, cough. 
I, I, th I think this is correct so far. I I'm pretty confident. Now, what, what I may have a hot take on is uh, Dragonite. So, no, we're, we're, we're not going to have any hot takes on this. I mean, Dragonite is incredible. Um, it's very durable. Um, it's good in all forms of content. You can't really heal with it, but, you know, whatever. It slaps in Battlegrounds. The build variability on Dragonite is vast. You can run a lot of weird shit on Dragonite and it will still perform. Stamina and Magicka, like, it doesn't matter really what the, what, what the class is, Stamina or Magicka, you're still gonna absolutely slap kids. It's very easy to pick up. Corrosive is one of the easiest new noob um, ultimates in the game, new, new player ultimates in the game for you to get success out of. And it's easy to catch people off guard with corrosive. I get caught off guard even as a nine year veteran. So, I mean, this is Stam DK, Mag DK is meta tier compared to the other tiers. Is it as good as it once was? Absolutely not. Um, it used to be much more devastating, especially during the open soul meta. Oh God. Oh God. It was, it, it was quite a fun time for the Dragonite. <laughs> So I don't think there's any discrepancies here. Now, the last class, I have found a, a new respect for Stam Sorg. I think Stam Sorg, if played correctly, is going to be A tier. If you are the best at Stam Sorg, it is, it is going to be a meta class. If you really know the limits to this class and you know what you're doing and you know your target prioritization, I think Stamina Sorg has the potential to be S tier. Or meta again what does it do right you, you 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 go in you blow your load typically now there are some builds that I, I was even running with dragon's appetite and mars bomb this class struggles with the burst heal if you run those two sets in tandem with arena weapons you still clap cheeks the fact that i have never played a stamina class before until last week that i can just do a stamp sort put on these sets and just have immediate results means there is some potential to the class okay i don't have thousands of hours on sam sork all of my time is mag sork right um but i honestly believe that if i can do that then fucking anyone can right so i'm putting in a tier um the burst potential is just overwhelming sometimes i i had so many people mess me it's like you know how much damage do you have how do you have all that damage i wasn't running monster sets or a mythic i was still just, just outputting so much damage per second it's incredible um but Stamp Sork, you can get caught off guard. If you get down into execute range or you get hit with like a 17k bow proc, your, your ass is grass, okay? You, you do have to play the class smart. Um, again, like the limitations to it is it's not like Dragonite. It's not noob friendly. Um, it is difficult to play. I think it's B tier due to, due to the complexity of it. Um, th that's a really good point. Um, because I play a lot of sort, I have 5,000 hours on my Xbox account just on Mag Sork alone. So I kind of understand how to play Sork in general. So having that prior knowledge did help me play Stam Sork, right? Potentially, it's A and S tier. But to the average player, it's probably like a B tier class is what my assessment would be. But if you are above average player and kind of, you know, you have thumbs, I I, I think it's still A tier. S is like a truck's bad. Uh, crystal Fragment instead of Crystal Weapons, legit. Um, The only thing bad about Crystal Fragments is that it's RNG. Crystal Weapons, you can queue up anytime you want for your burst, right? That's why Crystal Weapons is just better because you can have it all the time. Your damage per second is going to be much, much higher than having a Crystal Fragments. And plus, Crystal Fragments very telegraphed. It can be real dodgy as a minimum travel distance. Whereas, you know, Crystal Weapons, you can get in there and just keep spamming, keep spamming. Imagine having to frag every other cast of your spells, you know? Imagine that 33% chance being like a 90% chance of proc or frag. That's kind of what Crystal Weapons feels like. Gives you a lot more DPS. Mag Sork. I have not made Mag Sork yet. Um, I dueled Metallic Monk. He had almost 40k health, okay? Running Ryan Cry. And he just shit on my Stam Sork. Granted, I wasn't running a dueling build, but his frags were hitting me at 10, 11k per pop. Okay. I don't know what he's running. I don't know. Um, I've yet to delve into that realm of theory crafting. Um, there was a buff this patch to where your wards are now dynamically scaling off your health, not just your maximum match stacks, which means you can stack health and have a super beefy ward and now you don't have to stack max mag you can go into weapon and spell damage so you can get a lot bigger returns on your damage 
Um, I'm going to put Mag Sork if you know what to do. This is tough because I haven't played it myself. The, the, this is going to be a tough assessment. I think Mag Sork, if you know what you're doing and you have the correct build, it's going to be an A tier. If you do not, I think it's going to be in B tier. I'm going to put it in B tier for now. Um, the meta is still to develop. It may actually be completely OP. It may be meta tier. But the point of making this, I'm going to put it in B tier because I don't think everyone has caught on to the quote unquote health meta of the Magic of Sorcerer. I don't like the high health meta, but Zoss keeps pushing it. And I think this is going to be the most effective way to play Magic of Sorcerer. So I'm going to put it B tier. It might even be A tier. What do you guys think about that? This, this is going to be the hot take. This is where we're going to be split down the board. Um, I can tell you guys that right now. This this is, I guarantee you, people say trash, people say meta, people say B. It's going to be all over the place. Um, I don't think having 40k health is good for the game. I think pushing that ideology and that play style in ESO is wrong. It, it should not go that route. You should not be able to put out incredible amounts of damage with such a high survivable health pool. It seems very weighted, in my opinion. I don't think your damage is nearly as weighted as your health you know what i mean yeah but i i i i, I can agree with spaghetti western here and he's like one of the best sorts you guys are gonna find one, one, one of the the most unique at least build crafters when it comes to sork um i do kind of agree with him once people start catching on to the meadow sork um this is the first week um i think that it's going to take off as soon as people start putting out builds um i'm going to save sork for last because quite frankly I don't want to fight Metallic Monk's build a 40k health. <laughs> you know what I mean, man? I don't want to fight against that. Like, especially on Stam Sork. You can't burst the class. You have 40k health, but you're still able to hit me with 11k frags? Bro. Like, I was running around 33k resistances. He was still hitting me with 11k frags. You know what I mean? And then if you were a truly chad on the class like like, like a top one percent of the one percent of people who main sork i think it'll be a meta meta class but for now we're putting it b so final thoughts on our tier list fellas because we're going to go react to deltia's video i heard deltia has a tier list video as well and we're going to kind of break it down to see if we necessarily agree with his assessments or not and we're also going to compare our list here with what he has and see if we're both in the same mindset all right, guys, thank you so much for watching until the end. Now, if you agree with my assessment of the classes, let me know down in the comments. And if you definitely don't agree about something that I place here, also light me up in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. And don't forget to hit the bell notification icon. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you when I go live. So with all that being said, guys, have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> it's, it's your phone. I know you guys can hear me. So. Uh, well, maybe maybe you can't hear me. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can you guys hear me? Wait a minute. Wait. I think my, I think my Discord fucked everything up. Hold on. Oh, wait. There we go. Hold on. Uh, no, no. You guys can hear me, you fool. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I fucking hate you, dude. I fucking hate you. I'm just gonna crop you out. Don't don't worry. We got post production on this bitch. You know what? No, I want to do it all in one take. Fuck you. All right, we gotta do this over now. Fucking hate you all. I knew better. I knew better. I'm looking at my my OBS right now. Fuck y'all. You know what? I'm closing the stream. All at four. Fuck you. <laughs>